Now the instructions are very clear just to highlight basically they want you to read through everything and do a dry run on this so you're going to take this and put it on with the adhesive and everything still on there don't don't peel it off and then try to start figuring out exactly where it goes because if you're like me you'll totally mess that up so you know these parts are pretty self-explanatory but you still might want to familiarize yourself exactly with which direction they go and get everything lined up perfectly before you start trying to remove adhesives I saw this at the bottom so I'm like okay well that goes on the bottom so I just wrap the grip around here and I'm like huh that's weird it doesn't fit well <laughs> it goes around from the bottom so you start with the bottom now they tell you to line up this v-notch here here and here with the crease of the rifle so that's going to be that crease right here not the crease right here now on their instructions they might for characters like me and they might want to put a little picture of the actual stock and point to the underbelly because that's where you have to get everything lined up so once you put it on here then you want to get it all lined up now I'm actually doing this with the camera but I just want to show you you know here is how it comes in from the underbelly and then if you notice down here now again I've only got one hand here but this is going to get lined up to where it just is going to encircle that Archangel logo I suggest getting it laid out and practicing picking it up and actually putting it back on exactly how you want it okay we're going to start by prepping the area and again I advise you to wear rubber gloves you don't want any oil that might be coming off your fingers to get on this and we're just going to clean both sides really well Count everything this part. Scrub it down really well. Okay, other side. Okay, and now we're going to give this a little bit of time to air dry. Okay, we've let this dry now, and I'm going to take a hair dryer. I'm going to heat this up just a little bit. Remember, avoid your anything that might overheat. I've taken the scope off just to be safe. Now I'm going to heat this up, and notice I've got a hammer here to keep it from moving. Okay, now we're going to very carefully peel back the adhesive. Very careful with this, no great rush. Okay, and here is how it went on. Just take your time, line up your crease. See a little far off there. I'll come around to the other side. Just make sure I keep any air bubbles out. Back on the other side. Okay, this side is perfect. 
the other side not exactly perfect so let's see if we can get that a little bit better without tearing anything up it looks like I might want to just leave well enough alone here so I'm going to squeeze that down a little bit and pretty much leave well enough alone now what I'm going to do once I've got it like I want it I'm going to take my hair dryer now and go ahead and heat this up once again now I'm going to grip this and hold it in place for about a good solid three to four minutes I put the Punisher skull right here I don't know where he's supposed to go but I thought that would be perfect and definitely if I were you and I were gonna put this Punisher skull on I would save him for last and be very careful with it I didn't film that part of it because I thought it would be easy but actually it's a very intricate little piece so be careful uh, one of these I had to peel it back up and straighten it out and then heat it up with the hair dryer again but turned out perfect and uh, there's a line that goes right down through here and you can just line that up pretty much with that middle tooth or whatever that <laughs> that is on the uh, the Punisher skull I'll put links in the description that will give you the best Amazon prices. And just for looking, you'll help support the channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and you can check me out at bradctv.com.